Hi, in this tutorial, we will talk about how you can create an AI agent for researching YouTube ideas. So let's take a look at our quick demo first. Okay, so let's dive into our quick demo. Um, this is the NN workflow. Um, we have uh, we are fetching different videos from channels on a daily basis, and then for the um, statistics, we are getting here in super base. So this is the YouTube statistic uh, video table that we have. For this column is the YouTube um, video ID, and this is a view count, like count favorite count and common count so um, this is the recorded time and uh, we are doing this on a daily basis so basically um, after you set up the same blueprint on your own um, uh, on your own setup um, you are getting this um, uh, statistic um, in your super base table as well so um, let's dive into more details for this tutorial okay so after taking a look at our quick demo uh, we go through the workflows one by one so basically this is the NAN um, blueprint that we have and um, so before we start we need to prepare uh, two things uh, the first one is uh, uh, super base account and, and then it will be the Google Cloud API so there are mainly three workflows the first one is to add new channels to the database so we collect youtube channel urls to this form together full youtube channel urls uh, from users and then um, with instruction to input the uh, url per row and then we extract channel handles and we will filter existing channels by comparing extracted handles with stored entries and then we'll fetch the channel data and then for the second workflow, uh, it will be fetching um, the videos uh, from channel. So retrieve channel records, fetch videos, and then we process the video data. And we'll store the videos um, to super base for future analysis and tracking. And then for the third workflow, it will be um, getting video statistics um, uh, for uh, like for analysis so basically um, this is the first step to retrieve all videos uh, we query the YouTube statistics and then um, the second step is to batch videos IDs and then fetch statistic including field counts like count coming counts and favorite count and then um, we will save statistics um, store the updated statistics in the YouTube statistics video set table for detailed tracking analysis. So let's dive into our NAN workflows now. So we will talk about the um, setup first for the credentials. Um, for the first one is the super base. Um, basically, we need to set up two uh, different uh, credentials for super base. Um, the first one is the easiest, so we can just um, create this with uh, by adding this host here. So how we can find this, we can just go to Superbase, um, and then we go to Project set Settings, uh, Configurations, and the API. We can just copy this uh, project URL, and then paste it here. And then for the service row secret key, we can just refer it and then just copy and paste it here. So this is the first one. And why we need to uh, set up the second one, um, the reason is that um, when we choose, we will try to add a action for super base. So basically there are just five actions here. But if we want to do some more specific actions, for example here, uh, we would like to use in this action. So we need to set up another um, um, credentials for that. Okay, so after the first Superbase credential setup, um, we are going to set up the Superbase Postgres uh, credential setup. So um, there are couples of fields that we need to input. The first one is host, database, user, password, and also the port. So um, we can just go to the um, Superbase first, project settings, configurations, database, and then we choose connect ORMs and copy this AWS to here. And then we can paste it here for the host. For the database, we choose Postgres for user. You can just post a uh, copy uh, Postgres to this before colon and then just paste here. For password, we can go back here 
And then because we have done already set up the password, you can just um, refill the password here or reset the database password here and copy and paste it here. For the port, we can go back to connect or amps and then this one is a port. So you can just paste here and um, disable SSL. Basically, it's done for the um, Superbase Postgres credential setup. Okay, after setting up the Superbase uh, credentials, we are going to set up the Google Cloud API credentials. So we are adding uh, credential here. We search for header auth. And then the name we put authorization. And then for the value, we just need to go to uh, Google Cloud. Uh, this one. So we search for Google Cloud. And then we go to console. Go to API and services. Library. And we search for YouTube. We will use the YouTube Data API version 3. Enable this first. After you enable this, uh, we can click Manage. And then uh, we go to Credentials. And then we can go to click uh, Create Credentials. You can just copy and paste the uh, API key uh, to the value and save it. So it's um, that easy for the create, uh, credential settings for the YouTube API. After setting up the credentials for both Superbase and um, uh, Google Cloud YouTube API. We need to set up the database tables on Superbase. So we go to superbase.com uh, database and then we go to uh, database management and then we click tables. And um, he, these three are the major tables um, we set up for this demo purpose. And uh, for example, uh, we're going to dive into what columns we need to input for each table. So for example, this YouTube statistics channels, we have four major columns. So you can just copy and paste it to your own one. So you can just add new column and then input the data type and the format. So for ID, channel handle, channel ID, uh, created at. So just copy this. And then for the second database table, uh, YouTube statistics uh, video stat, uh, there are seven columns. So this one. You can just copy and paste as well. So ID, video ID, video count, like count, favorite count, coming count, and recorded at the time. So, and then choose the data type and also the relevant format by adding new col column. And then for the third database uh, table, which is the, it is the YouTube statistic videos. Uh, there are 16 columns. So again, you can just copy and paste it, um, this 16 columns. Great, so um, after setting up the credentials and also the database tables, uh, we are ready to go. Let's dive into our workflows one by one. So for the first one, uh, it will be adding new channels to database. So for the first step, it will be on-form submission. Um, so uh, we can just input the form description here. And then um, we can input the... Uh, we can choose this uh, channel uh, URL for the field label and text area for field type. And then for placeholder, we put a uh, full URL uh, for the YouTube channel, one per row. Yeah. And then for spawn when we use our uh, form as submitted. And this is the test URL, uh, none as the authentication. And then uh, we will have the get channel handle here. So this is uh, the code we use. You can just copy and paste this. So this is the URL, the channel URL. And then uh, we can go back. Oh, remember it's uh, run once for all items. And of course we are using JavaScript. And for settings, we there's no nothing here. And the third one is to search existing uh, channels. So um, this is the server base. Uh, we connect it and then um, this is the operations and then the code for the query you can just copy and paste as well and then we are going to parse all handles here again just run once for all items and you can just copy and paste this 
you can just copy and paste this to yours as well. Okay, and then um, for this part, a refresh channel from API. Again, uh, this is the uh, YouTube uh, URL. We are using the Google APIs here. Use the get method. And then uh, for authentication, we use uh, generic credential type, this one. And we'll have a query auth here. And this is the auth that we use. And then we will store the channels into the super base. Super base. So um, we use this credentials, connect with this. And then this is the source. We use the row resource and then we create operations for table name or id we use youtube uh, statistic channels for data to send we define below for each column this one and we've put the field name here this is the field value and then we put a field name or id here and also this is the field file for this channel id so uh, basically this is the first workflow Okay, as for the second workflows, uh, we are fetching videos from channels. So we can set um, a daily trigger here. So um, we use the days as the trigger interval. Uh, you can choose as hours or minutes, but you, we use days here. So we use one day, so we can um, get the data on a daily basis. For the trigger at hour, we choose 1 a.m. So we can choose, uh, you can customize your own uh, and your own interval as well. And then we'll get all the channels from the database, uh, which is the super base here. So again, uh, this is a credential we connected with the super base. We use row as a resource and uh, get many uh, as the operation here. And then this is the table name or ID. And the limit we use is here is 50. And we'll use build manually as a filter and any filter for the must match. And then for settings, uh, there's none. For the third node, uh, which is uh, fetching videos from API. So this is the Google API's URL. And then again, we use generic credential type as the authentication, query auth. Um, this is the uh, credentials. Um, yeah, so basically it's the third node. For the fourth one is to parse response. Um, so let's open it here. Uh, this is the JavaScript we used. You can just copy and paste into yours. And um, again, the mode we use here is to run once for all um, items. Great. And then we will uh, split out. Um, so just um, items we choose here, the fields to split out and then no other fields. And then for the last node in this workflow is to insert to database. And then um, we connect it with Superbase Progress here, Postgres. And then um, we use insert as the operation and public for the schema from list, which is from list here. And then um, for the table, again from list, this is the YouTube statistic videos. And then for mapping column mode, we use map automatically. And remember to skip on conflict. And then for uh, settings, we choose always output data. So basically, this is a second workflow. Okay, for the third workflow. So uh, to fetch video statistics uh, from YouTube. So again, we can schedule a trigger. Uh, again, we use uh, a daily interval. Um, the trigger at hour is 1 a.m. And um, you can choose your own interval as well. The second note here is to select all the video uh, IDs. Again, you need to connect with your credentials in Superbase. Um, for operation, we choose select. And then from list, public for the schema. Uh, from list, and then we use uh, YouTube statistic videos for the table. And then we turn on the return all. And then for the combined conditions, uh, we use end here. And then remember to push, uh, uh, put the ID here. Uh, for the up columns for the options here for settings uh, there's nothing special here and then we need to aggregate and um, for the individual fields um, this one is the ID again we need to put input the field name here settings nothing special again and uh, after we aggregate need to split out the IDs here 
you can just copy and paste uh, this JavaScript. Again, we use the run once for all items mode. Uh, nothing special for settings. And then for the fifth node, we choose uh, like fetch video stats here. So this is the Google API's URL. You can just copy and paste here. Uh, generic credential type, query all, same thing. Um, settings, nothing special. And split out again. So items, no other fields. And then we will insert into our Superbase database here. So um, row as resource, create op as the operations um, options here. We choose create. And then for the table name or ID, we use YouTube uh, statistic video set. And the data to send we define below for each column. So the fields um, to send are there are a couple of them. Um, first of all, video IDs, string, uh, view counts, like counts, favorite counts, and common counts. And then again, you can just copy in this into your own node. Yeah, so basically, this uh, is the workflow setup for this um, AI agent for getting YouTube ideas uh, from different channels. So, um, hope you like it. And if you just let me know what you think about this. So, see you next time.